Well, from thousands of miles away, Minnesotans are lending a helping hand after back-to-back -back hurricanes devastated the southeast. Today, Poon Gorham talked with some organizations with boots on the ground, helping to provide emergency food, shelter, and support. This is an enormous undertaking. I'm a veteran of both uh, Sandy and Harvey, and uh, this is going to be like both of those put together. Widespread destruction from not just one, but two hurricanes in the U.S. Southeast. Organizations from across the nation have mobilized to put boots on the ground and lend a helping hand, including some right here in the Midwest. We've dispatched over 100 people from our Minnesota and Dakota's region to uh, a, ver a variety of places. The American Red Cross is helping to provide resources to those impacted. Ground teams are working to provide food, shelter, and damage assessments, but that's not all they're offering. We do uh, things like take care of people's uh, medical needs, uh, replace prescriptions, and then also uh, we have a large component that, that works on the, on the mental health side. Also on the ground is the Minnesota National Guard. Governor Tim Walz mobilized Duluth's 148th Fighter Wing ahead of Hurricane Milton's arrival. The team of 13 airmen was en route to a base in Florida on Thursday to provide specialized aid. We are trained in Sea Bernie, which is chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and highly yield explosives. Um, and so should, we, should the need arise, we are trained to operate in that kind of an environment. While groups like the Red Cross usually provide aid for a few weeks, the National Guard is there until they're no longer needed. We'll just we'll just be mission to mission, day to day, helping as much as we can. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. KUIC News Now and our parent company Gray Media have teamed up with the Salvation Army for Hurricane Helene and now Hurricane Milton Relief. Salvation Army is prepared to provide emergency aid, food, supplies, and long-term recovery services to survivors and rescue workers. You can make a financial donation by scanning the QR code on your screen or visit floridastormrelief.org. 100% of your donation will go to the disaster relief operation you select.